Hi Beach Nation, uh, this is Coach Joy and I'm happy to be here with you guys and share a book called Never Tease a Weasel. You can knit a kitten mittens and perhaps that cat would purr. You can fit a fox with socks that exactly matched his fur. You could make a goat a coat with a collar trimmed in mink or give a pig a wig in a dainty shade of pink. But never tease a weasel. This is very good advice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could make a writing habit for a rabbit if you choose, or make a turkey perky with a high-heeled pair of shoes. You could make a collie jolly with a gay crocheted cravat or make a possum blossom in an Easter Sunday hat. But never tease a weasel, not even once or twice. A weasel will not like it and teasing isn't nice. You could build a mouse a house with a chimney made of bricks. You could give a dove some gloves and a set of walking sticks. But never tease a weasel. There, I've said it thrice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could give a mule a pool and some jaunty swimming trunks. Send a case of Spanish lace to a pair of lady skunks. You could give a fish a dish for her favorite seaweed stew. Send three frogs some sailing togs and a yachting cap or two but never tease a weasel. Now I can't be more precise. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could bake a drake a cake for his special birthday treat. You could braid a bug a rug to make his bug house neat. You could feed a spider cider, or perhaps pink lemonade, or give a moose a juice to sip on in the shade but never tease a weasel. Now remember what I've said. It's more fun to please a weasel and become friends with him instead. That's it, that's never tease a weasel.